Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here, this is the question Which of the following is not a branch of the subclavian artery? So, it is a direct question that which is not a branch of the subclavian artery. So, we first of all, we have to find out the subclavian artery, then we have to read details about the branches of the subclavian artery, then it will be very clear for us that which is not a branch of the subclavian artery. So, here the options options are superior thyroid artery, vertebral artery, thyro cervical trunk, internal thoracic artery, and dorsal scapular artery. So now, first of all, let's see some picture here. In this picture, we can see this is the aortic arch or arch of the aorta. And from the arch of the aorta, three artery arises. First of all, brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid artery, and this is the left subclavian artery. So from here up to there, this is the subclavian artery. And we can see some branches of the subclavian artery here. So the branches of the subclavian artery first of all we can see this is the vertebral artery which goes upward and uh, it transmits through the transverse foramina of cervical vertebra then in the lower part we can see this is the internal mammary artery or internal thoracic artery then here we can see this is the thyro cervical trunk then costo cervical artery and another one present also which is the dorsal scapular artery and uh, through a mnemonic uh, it can be remembered very easily this is the vitamin c and d vitamin c and d uh, b i t um, b for vertebral artery i for internal thoracic artery t for thyro cervical trunk c for costo cervical trunk and d for dorso or dorsal scapular artery So these are the branches of the subclavian artery and in this picture we can see and it is the different parts of the subclavian artery uh, and the subclavian artery it contains uh, three of the uh, part first part second part and third part from the first part three artery arises which is b i t b for vertebral artery i for internal thoracic and t for thyro cervical and from the second part that is c that means the costo cervical trunk and from the third part dorso scapular artery arises so here we can see finally the different part actually it is the three part and it is divided by the muscles this is the anterior scalene muscle and at the level of the anterior scalene, this is the second part proximal to it this is further part and dorsal to it is it's the third part and from the first part three artery arises here we can see vertebral internal thoracic and thyro cervical so this three artery it is boxed by uh, green color this three artery arises from the first part of the subclavian artery then we can see in the second part from the second part costo cervical trunk derived and from the third part dorsal or dorsal scapular artery arises so this is the mnemonic vitamin cd bitcd b for vertebral artery i for internal thoracic t for thyro cervical trunk c for costo cervical trunk and d for dorsal scapular this costo cervical trunk and d for dorsal scapular artery so here which is not a branch which is the superior thyroid artery because the superior thyroid artery it arises from the external carotid artery other branches such as the vertebral artery thyro cervical trunk internal thoracic artery dorsal scapular artery they are branches of the subclavian artery but superior thyroid artery it is not branch of the subclavian artery because here we can see this is the superior thyroid artery and this superior thyroid artery arises from this artery which is the external carotid artery so the superior thyroid artery it is branched from the external carotid artery thank you all